Greetings, people. It's Mr. Paul the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. So doing a follow-up to the previous video that I did of the prophecy that was given by Omoto Fofain, of the acclaimed prophecy that was given by Omoto Fofain, in which he was uh, preparing his followers that there are some attacks that are coming, there are some accusations that are coming. I had to do this other episode so that we can compile all the videos together. And on this episode, uh, we're going to revisit the 26th of March prophecy. And there's a reason we are doing that. Because after the 26th of March, remember on the 26th of March, he had given a promise that within four days, this missing child will come out from anywhere. In his own words, he said it. And he even asked some of his students that what will you do if this baby comes out? The reason why I keep playing this video is so that it can, this video holds a tight grip on this entire case of baby testimony. This confession, a.k.a. prophecy, a.k.a. statement that Mr. Omoto Fofain gave on the 26th of March, it holds a very tight grip on this case of baby testimony because it also contradicts the statement that Omoto had given prior the day that he gave this prophecy. And when he gave this prophecy, this case of baby testimony was very hot, hot. It was very, very hot, hot. We had pushed him to the edge. That's why he decided to come out. And at that time, he had chosen to do the right thing. But due to advisors around him who told him not to do the right thing, that those are the advisors that have led us to where we are now, where we are still talking about the very same case, which we could have concluded back in March. And it was this statement which showed that Omoto Fofain is surrounded by stooges. Because prior to this statement, to this prophecy, to this confession that he gave on the 26th of March, he had written an affidavit at the beginning of the year to the police, to the commissioner of police, stating that this child called baby testimony does not exist. Stating that Ruth Matthew is arranging this story of a missing child because this child called baby testimony is nowhere in the population database of Nigeria. He had written a sworn affidavit earlier this year when we started talking about the case of baby testimony. The reason why I say this statement was written earlier this year is because he also included me in his statement as one person who is conniving with Ruth Matthew to extort money from him. So after giving such a statement to the commissioner of police, he went on to give a prophecy that what if this missing child comes out from nowhere? What will you do? What if he comes out? What will you do? And others promised to rededicate their lives to God. I know most of you might have forgotten about the prophecy, but I'm going to play it for emphasis so that we can be on the very same page. And I'm going to play the one that he did before the four days that he had promised to release baby testimony elapsed. So check out the first prophecy that he gave on the 26th of March. Now, if, if this baby comes out, <laughs> what will you do? What will you do? Eh? I will rededicate myself to God. You will dedicate. I will dedicate myself. What about you? If this baby. Now the enemy is the Lord said. He said the baby. He has set confusion among the people that who are. Who caused this calamity. But I will tell you. A feast of Thanksgiving. Hey listen. Take this my word. Even one second. To this put to run up. This baby that missing, you hear a good news. Amen. Even one second to this month, I am not. I am what I have seen in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing. How can you accuse the person like this? You that the person now who are following me, are you ready to dance 
and celebrate with me zoom people if the baby come at all from anywhere are you ready to celebrate with me so i'm sure we can all agree this is not us accusing of Omoto having said something that he might not have said. This is not us misrepresenting what Mr. Omoto Fofain said on this fateful day. You can clearly hear him from his own mouth. And his body language, it shows a gentleman with so much confidence that he was going to break the ice. At this particular point, at this time of this prophecy, Omoto, I can promise you one thing for sure. He had made up his mind and he wanted to do the right thing. I don't know how he wanted to do it, but he wanted to do the right thing. On this very day, we were supposed to get baby testimony because he said this might happen any minute. Not even a second can pass. It can happen any time. And three days after, having given that prophecy. He came back and then he swallowed his words. He came back and then he addressed his congregation. And then he told his congregation, his brainwashed congregation, that people are misinterpreting what I said. People did not understand what I said. I gave a prophecy alone. And the only thing I spoke about was not about the baby. He said it clearly. <laughs> Have you ever seen a man that can lie with a straight face to an audience that would dance to the very same lie, yet they know that this man is now lying? A man who can change his statement overnight and still stand in front of his audience, of his congregation, and convince them that he did not say what he said. Based on the first video that I played you of the prophecy that he gave, he spoke about confusion in the camp of the enemy. And I'll explain to you maybe later or in the video to come where that confusion came and how that confusion was orchestrated. That was not a prophecy. They were all playing to my rule book. I made them feel like they are on top of the game, yet I was still the captain of the ship. And they used Ogala to come and steer up this confusion through Maureen. And simply because Maureen was desperate enough for content, she bought into Ogala's plan to come and confuse Sister Ruth Matthew on her live broadcast. That was the entire confusion that they spoke about, which was orchestrated by Ogala. Forget about the confusion. The second thing that he spoke about was, what if the missing child comes out? What will you do? So I'm also asking you people, what will you do if the very same man who said these things comes two days after and says he did not say any of these things? He only spoke about confusion, but he never mentioned about a baby coming within four days. How can people be so gullible? Not just people, but how can Omoto... <laughs> what kind of a man is this? What kind of a human being is this? How do you lie with a straight face? To the very same people that are giving you money, but these people are so gullible that they believe everything. I want you to listen to the comeback video that he did after some major key players had came, approached him, and told him not to do the right thing. A day before, the fourth day, Omoto came again, and he did a video, and he denied everything that he had said. And this is what he had to say. And I told you people, some people say, ah, Jeremiah, some people did not hear me well. Jeremiah said before the ending of the month, and the baby will come out or blah blah i said forget about this is i said good news will come there is confusion in the camp of my enemies and immediately the following day the good news came and everybody heard the story have you yes, the confusion i know here i am uh -huh. is that not a good news yes papa confusion that's what i said that what i've been prophesying if anybody that listened to me hear me well 
That's what I said. I did not talk about any other thing. What I'm saying is the confusion and the victory. Now confusion has started. I am victorious. Why? Because the end of my the camp of my enemies, there is problem. Now then they accuse each other now. Not me. Not be so. Stumbling and falling. May God help us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm very, very happy when I pray God answered me. Forgiving me everywhere we camp. Everywhere we camp. But after the prophecy, we know where the, the bullet is coming from. Yes, Papa. So today we are very happy. Backfire to sender. Oh. So in this video, which he did a day before the fourth day, the four days that elapsed, he was now telling his people that there are some people out there who misunderstood what he meant. He was convincing his audience, he was convincing his followers that he never spoke about anything concerning a missing child being found. And they still believed him. They still danced to his tune. He's their spiritual father, so anything that he says is the truth. Where is that one who said you rededicate his life to God? Now, if, if this baby comes out, <laughs> What will you do? What will you do? Eh? I will rededicate myself to God. You rededicate? I will rededicate myself. What about you? If this baby, he was there saying that he will rededicate his life to God. Why did he want to rededicate his life to God? It's because Omoto had asked him, "What will he do if this missing child comes out from anywhere?" That's the reason why he said. He will rededicate his life to God. But still, when Omoto comes and says he never spoke about any child, he only spoke about confusion in the camp of the enemy. The very same man who said he will rededicate, he will, he will rededicate his life to God is still clapping hands and saying, Yes, Papa, you didn't say it. This life no balance at all. Some people did not hear me well. Jeremiah said before the ending of the month, and the baby will come out or blah blah i said forget about this is i said good news will come there is confusion in the camp of my enemies so if he can lie about this <laughs> what more what about a case of a missing child what can stop him from lying about it what can stop him from lying about it if he can lie about something that he is on record saying and then he comes tomorrow because someone told him that don't do it. Don't release this boy because if you do, there will be drama. If you do, people will know you are the one who hit the boy. Then he decided to withdraw his statement. That was the only reason why he withdrew his statement that he had made. And because of those people that you advised him, he is still under the barrel of a gun. And we're still pulling the trigger nonstop. And he will know no peace in his entire life. Until he revisits the day he made this prophecy. And think twice. And think again. And see what can benefit him. And the only thing that can benefit him is to do the right thing. And we now all know what's the right thing. We don't have to keep reminding him. We want our boy back. And we will never stop calling him out until he releases our boy. They can have a footage of a prophecy that he did on the 1st of January. They can pull out that footage. But they can't pull out a footage when baby testimony was taken. When we ask about a footage when baby testimony was taken, they will tell us that it was malfunctioning. But a footage which is a prophecy about an attack coming, accusations coming, it's still there. 
So, Mr. Omoto, how do you justify this? And for how long do you think you can remain hiding in your small cocoon? And do you ever sleep at night thinking that one day you wake up and this case will be a bygone? As you said in your prophecy as well. You're up for a big surprise, my brother. You're up for a big surprise. I told you earlier that you have to dismiss everyone around you, everyone in your inner circle. They mean you no good. If there were people who had your best interest at heart, by now we could have concluded this case of baby testimony. By now we could have forgotten about this case of baby testimony. How do you give a prophecy today that the boy will be found within four days? And within the very same four days, you come back again and you say you did not say it. You did not give a prophecy of that nature. Very sad indeed. But don't worry, we will get you to dance. And you shall dance. The very same confusion that you spoke about is the very same confusion that is happening today. In your camp, your sons and daughters are disgracing you day in, day out. And as this wave goes, soon or later, one of them will break and will know everything that there is to know about what happened to baby testimony. It could have been better had you released this boy, even if anything comes tomorrow, you have already done your part. But if you wait for these loose cannons to expose you, that damage will last forever and you will never be able to recover from it. So till I meet you again on the next episode of the Enlightenment series, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out. <laughs>